She's so focused on her sunset pictures. If you ever wonder how Oslo looked on a Christmas Eve, this is it. Not one single soul on the street. I can hear my echo. Today pretty much there are only three things open. Churches, parks, because they don't have doors here, most of them, and hotels. That's it, that's it. 95 to 97% of the city is shut down. And that is because, again, it's a family-oriented uh, holiday. Even though we're not religious, we are going to do a church tour today because, honestly, we run out of things to do in Oslo. And uh, I cannot fly my drone because I crashed. is the opera house here in Oslo. It is usually compared to the opera house in Sydney because of its architecture. One interesting thing is that you're gonna see some uh, people up there. That's the roof of the opera house. But Oslo actually encouraged people to go up and enjoy the view. Fun fact, one guy that owns a hotel here uh, actually paid Justin Bieber to play right here and he made a stage in the water for the concert. He actually did not charge anything. He made the concert for free, not just him, but the hotel owner. Pretty cool. Him to go up and um, hopefully I do not fall. <laughs> Almost fell like 30 times, but, but we made it. And what a view. You cannot beat this view. You just simply cannot beat this view. It's gorgeous. Guys, I'm so Indonesian. Came to try the best burger in Oslo but it's closed. It doesn't open until January 1st or January 2nd of 2018. So Oslo, I think I'm gonna need to come back. We are yet at another park with tons of statues. And this one is a bit more controversial, has some very sexual statues and very unique design. So I'm gonna take a walk for about an hour or so and then head down to the city for some lunch. Uh, yeah. This one is extremely weird. It's kind of creepy too. I can't imagine it at night. This is what happens when I listen to mommy and we get stuck in tons of snow. Uh. Bar hopping Christmas. This is pub number one. heading to another Irish pub, the Dublin Oslo. There we go. Wait for us. We are ready for it, yeah. Came to stop number two, which is the Dubliner, and it's closed. 
Let's go to stop number three. Ooh. Our pub stop number three, and it's also closed. <laughs> so we ran out of places, but I think there's one in the corner. This is stop number four, and it's also closed. Bar number five, and it is also closed. <laughs> no luck. We found an open bar. I think they're closing. Never mind, it's closed. <laughs> Right, stop number six or seven, it's all so closed. <sighs> Losing our hopes. Bar number seven, which is actually a TGIF, it's closed. <laughs> I just need a beer. Friends, this Christmas, the last thing that you must lose is hope. We didn't, and we found an open bar called Cathedral Cafe or something like that. They sell food, they sell beers. That's awesome. This is the spot. We're back to the hotel and that's it for today's vlog. Okay. We're gonna say goodbye right here outside. I will see you tomorrow, our very last day here in Oslo. Then it's Copenhagen time. Peace to the Middle East, Merry Christmas. I will see you later. Ciao. It's cool though, it was fun. Love you. <laughs>